So oftentimes people are saying, man, I, I want to live that dream lifestyle. I want to go travel. I want to go, I want to go to a restaurant and not worry about the cost of the food. I want to order what I want, not what, like, what I can afford. I want to put my kids in these certain schools or I want to live in certain neighborhoods. I want to live in these specific zip codes. I want to drive these type of cars. But oftentimes there's this one thing, there's this one thing that keeps people getting to the next level. Like I see them right there. But what's that one thing that keeps them from what they want out of life? I'm going to be talking about it here in this episode of Living Money Smart. So stay tuned. and I headed out to Palm Springs, fourth year in a row. I think it's gonna be warmer than Chicago. <laughs> Much warmer, looking forward to it. See you guys there. So, right here at the Delgado Estate in Indian Wells, 30,000 square foot home, I believe is formerly owned by Sylvester Stallone. Unbelievable! Are you kidding me? Hey, what's going on, everybody? Money Smart Guy Matt Zapala here, hailing to you from the Delgado Estate. Crazy spot here. Uh, this is our fourth year doing this annual retreat, million dollar round table clinic. Fourth year in a row we've done this. First year we went to Puerto Vallarta. Second year we went to uh, Ojica Castle. Third year we went to Lake Tahoe. And this year, boom, Palm Springs here. Each spot has been a dream selling, vision stretching type of uh, location. Phenomenal experience that we had the last four years. Here's that one thing I'm talking about. If this is something that you desire, like deep down desire that you want in your life, you've got a business plan, you got some goals, you got a mentor helping you out, you have a system you're about to follow, you got the numbers in front of you that you got to hit to hit certain metrics to get you the revenue, the, the financial flow to get you to the next level. What's that one thing though? It is consistency. Let me repeat that one more time. Consistency. See, oftentimes people say, man, I'm, I'm, I'm fired up for about a day. I'm fired up for about a week. I'm fired up for about a month. I might be fired up for about a quarter. Shoot, I might be even fired up for an entire year. But the person that does it over and over and over again and has this exponential pattern of growth in their business, in the cash flow, is the ones that can stay consistent. You're fighting every day just to be consistent. What are your daily disciplines? What are you doing when times are down? What are you doing when the cameras are off and nobody's looking? See, those are the times that separates you from everybody else. It separates the champions from the average and ordinary players. So let's get down to it. How do you get more consistent? Well, number one, you got to have a plan. You got to have goals. You've got to have certain metrics and numbers for what we call in our world, predictive analytics. They'll help you get to the next level. So you wake up every morning and know exactly what type of target to hit. The second thing to help you become more consistent is you gotta have a group of accountability partners, people that hold you accountable to your word, and you're gonna feel some pain. Listen guys, I understand what my alternative is. If I don't do this, if I'm not consistent at this, then what will I actually be consistent about? Listen, I came from the Marine Corps. Do I have a chance to be consistent in the Marine Corps? That time for me has passed. That's a chapter in my life that's already been closed. I learned a lot from it, but this point going forward, I gotta be consistent in this thing. You know, in the book, Outwitting the Devil, Napoleon Hill talks about drifters. They drift here, they drift there, they drift here, they drift there, but never really have any consistency in their life. And worse off, they build a negative reputation over the lifetime of going here, going over there, and never sticking with one thing. By the way, while he's here, let's ask Patrick but David. He just crossed a million subscribers on his YouTube channel, how he stays consistent. So, you know, I'll tell you about the, uh, the consistency aspect of it. So say, for instance, you look at somebody and you say, oh my gosh, this person's so talented. I don't talk like them. I don't walk like them. I don't have their market. I don't have their credibility. I don't have their last name. I don't have any of that stuff. It, it's amazing. Most of those guys who are overly talented become experts at winging it. Let me explain to you why. Because most of their lives, they've been doing okay 
beating everybody else just by winging it. So imagine if I can jump 40 inches, right, and I play basketball. I can't go on any court and play any average guy and I can jump out of the court, you know, and just dunk the ball and everyone's going, oh my gosh, this guy's amazing. So I don't have to practice my shot. I don't have to practice my free throw. I don't have to practice my defense. Now say you have another guy that jumps 27 inches. He doesn't jump 40 inches. He's slower. He has to practice his shot. He has to have a game. He has to be able to play defense. He has to get better at the fundamentals than the talented guy. So, if you're watching this and you're saying, I'm not the most talented guy, that could actually work in your favor because you learn the discipline of consistently showing up on a daily basis, whether you are that talented as the other guy or not, but you'll learn the habit of showing up every day and the other one that's extremely talented doesn't show up every day because he thinks he can get away with it until eventually you get to a level of competition where you realize at the next level of competition, everyone shows up every day. Boom! With that being said, guys, I wanna know from you, I wanna hear feedback from you, what you do to help you stay more consistent, not only this year, but for the rest of your life to help you get to where you wanna go. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe and click notifications to be alerted next time we upload our next video. And if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like to like our Facebook business page. With that being said, thanks for tuning in, and until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.